All right, check this out. It's an 03 Tahoe, same on uh, Yukon, uh, Escalade, whatever. All of them with the Z55 auto level and stuff. Uh, I was gonna buy a kit for this thing and it was like $300, something along those lines. And I basically wanted to know if I could just make the parts. And I've seen the resistors and stuff you can buy on eBay and I didn't want to do that. So I had a bunch of solenoids and stuff laying around and this thing originally had a CO660 code in it <clears throat> for the exhaust valve on this compressor. Well, check the resistance. There was no resistance. And it's supposed to be 18 to like 40 ohms of resistance. And it has to be a pretty heavy duty resistor to make it work. Well, I had a bunch of random parts laying around. I found something within, within that spec. And it's hard to see, but a lot of techs are probably gonna know. We just wired in a 4L60 torque converter clutch solenoid. I think it was like uh, 23, 24 ohms. Which is right in the middle, which was good. Wired that up, fixed the code. <clears throat> but then after that, the bellows and the original shocks were blown out. That's them. Everybody's seen that before. So we put new shocks on them, but then they didn't have the connector to plug in which here's the original connector. So what we did, we cut that out and started looking at some of the other random parts I had laying around. And we used a fuel pressure regulator from uh, LMM Duramax off the high pressure fuel pump. I'm gonna tie all this stuff up here. But that's what we did on that side. I only had one of those. And on this side, we used the force motor solenoid out of the same 4L60 that we got the torque converter clutch solenoid in or out of. And then here's the kind of connections for that. So I have to tie it up. <coughs> but as you can see, this has some regular plain Jane like $20 piece shocks on it. And it doesn't have any service ride control codes in the dash or messages. It doesn't have any codes in it at all. So, if you want to delete this, if you're just a little bit ingenuitive, you can uh, find out what the specs are supposed to be and just find some regular solenoids because they have to be a higher amp rating or whatever. That way you don't blow them out. And uh, I think the compressor exhaust vent solenoid is supposed to be like 18 to 40 ohms under normal conditions and it's supposed to be on the shocks on that little connector that's right there they're supposed to be these ohmed out at like three ohms or something like that and uh that force motor i think was like 3.9 ohms something like that and the uh pressure regulator solenoid from the duramax I think it was like right at 3, 3.1, 3.2 ohms or something like that. Either way, works, doesn't have any codes. And if you just want to be cheap like me and not buy a three, four, five hundred dollar kit, that's one way you can do it.